We are live. Welcome to Andor Season 1, Episode 5, Thoughts. This episode is called The Axe Forgets. So, spoilers for the... Yeah, basically everything Star Wars leading up to this point, including this episode. So, I'm really glad we see Cyril with his mother. We really understand how he ended up so tense and uptight. And it's like... You know, I, I don't, every parent, you know, a lot of parents do their best. It's not necessarily, you know, sometimes it ends up bad, but yeah, you know, the, the, and, and she's like, why are you slouching? W were you slouching when you were, you know, a, a cop? Could you really, you know, this whole, so basically he, he doesn't in this episode, maybe he will. Maybe he won't, but I mean, basically, her, you know, her making him so uptight is what caused the problem. If he had let it go, like his boss specifically told him to, he would still have a job. And very tense when Cassian wakes up alone, his gear gone, but it was Skeen looking through it, and he did still have the... Uh, Kyber. And Cassian recognizes Screen's tattoos and they talk about being put in cages by the Empire. So, I, I quite like it. Again, just like, there's so much history here. Everyone feels like they've been doing this for, you know, what did they say, five months. When in reality, you know, they're actors. They, they have a script. But there's just, there's so much in the in the way they look at each other, the way they move, and just, yeah. And we see that Mon Mothma has a strained relationship with her daughter, who thinks that she's selfish, you know, and that is the thing, you know. Her image to the, the you know, which is what keeps her safe from the Empire, which is how she's able to, to fund these rebel actions, yeah. You know, some some people buy it and thinks that she is this, you know, yeah. And I like finding out, I, I, I'm not great with their names yet, but the, the kid is writing a manifesto and fervently tries to convince Cassian. I'm getting a distinct, like, mouse from the first Matrix vibe from him. And yeah, I really hope that nothing bad happens to him, but I would at this point be surprised if there isn't some kind but yeah just and some of the crew have issues with Cassian some of it is good points some of it is kind of personal and they see if he can walk like a soldier love that cut to actual soldiers and quiz him on various things and we see they really would not have made it if he hadn't joined about the you know the piloting thing they know what's in the manual nothing else they have no actual experience but you know if they had tried flying this thing even once they would know they wouldn't have to ask him and yeah you know that's not that's not enough you can't you can't learn everything from a manual some some things you have to, and imagine imagine if they got to that situation and then they're stuck like how do we you know how because you know, they say, oh, we, we know how to fly it. Yeah, yeah. But can you get it in the air if you don't get it off, you know, just, yeah. And and that is, you know, that's why Luthen said, he's a pilot, you need him, you know. And, you know, another thing, you know, the, he he apparently did learn at least a bunch of those phrases that he had to, or, or words at least, but one of them he mispronounces. And again, that's the kind of thing that if you just read it, it won't, you won't necessarily, like it might not be written phonetically. And if he screws that up, like they're immediately be like, you don't belong here. There's something wrong here. Because, you know, they have, to, it's a military operation. They are extremely diligent. You know, so that kind of just, yeah. And the TIE fighter flying is still so tense. Like, over the course of the movies, I must have seen dozens of these things. And many of them get destroyed in the movies. So if, the fact that this show can make me that 
tense about one which which flies past it doesn't actually it doesn't shoot or bomb them and it seems like it didn't see them that's good filmmaking you know that means you're you know i'm i'm extremely invested in this and again i forget her name but the the female i i want to say it's isb the, the imperial security officer thing you know, she's still looking for an excuse to act on what she knows has to be rebel actions. What is the line? It's too random to be random. You know, it's planned to make, you know, and, and she points out, this is the way to do it. You hit each place once. If you hit the same place more than once, people are going to notice, you know, it's a pattern. Now... But but yeah, I I am really really excited to see what, yeah. And Skeen is angry about how little he knows about Cassian, and points out the you know he he finds the ah what's it called the the Kyber crystal, and you know he points out who brings treasure to you know a heist, and you know there's almost shooting. And Cassium does go ahead and tell them that he's paid, and they realize Vel knew. I'm really psyched to find out where the character of Cyril goes next. You know, I they had to have that thing, you know, well, what did Uncle Harrow suggest? He needed some time to think about, you know, so tune in next week. Same star channel, same star time. You know, yeah, I I really because you know, they made it clear this is his only prospect. He has no other prospects at this point. And Skeen tells Cassian about his brother, and they both consider that an apology. And we see at the end, Luthen is anxious, and his assistant talks to him, trying to... You know, she does not like when he is nervous, and just... I wasn't expecting this episode to have the heist... But this really does get us right up against, like, they, they signal, I want to say his name is Gorn, the, the officer who lost his taste for the Empire. You know, they signal him, and they are going to, ah, what's the word? They, they signal him, they're, it, yeah, and, and they're marching on the place, and they, they're fully kitted out. You know, the next episode really is going to, un unless it's like a, you know, fresh uh, flashback episode or something. But yeah, I I can hardly wait. It's going to be an entire week, and I am just, my mind is going to, yeah, I, I'm really, really loving this show. I guess I should just briefly, you know, I am recording and uploading this on an unusual day for me, but there's going to be so much, like, if, if I can... Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to briefly go over so I know for a fact that over the coming few days other than this episode of Andor, I'm going to be talking about the entirety of Luke Cage season 1, She-Hulk episode 8, and if I understand correctly, Werewolf by Night and Hellraiser 2022 are premiering. So I don't, you know, yeah, if you're familiar with the channel, you know, I don't like, you know, I, I try to, when something premieres, I try to watch it and do a video on it as close to the premiere as I can, so, and just, you know, there's no way I can do all of these videos in one day, that, you know, my back is not going to be able to, so, I am doing... You know, one per day, you know, I, I believe tomorrow is She-Hulk premiere, and so will my vlog be. And let's see, the, I, uh, I suppose I shouldn't make definite, yeah, over the course of the weekend, you know, I, I intend to do the, yeah, Werewolf by Night. Hellraiser 2022 and Luke Cage Season 1. So, yeah. Really, really psyched to see where this goes. So, catch you next week or one of the next couple of days.
catch you at some point.